Welcome back to episode 14 of Building Our Ultimate Expedition Vehicle. In this episode, I upholster our dinette cushions and we cut up our mattress. I'm Courtney and that's my husband Riley. Driven by a desire to learn new skills, we set off to build our ultimate expedition vehicle. With a timeline of two months, we are pushing ourselves to create a vehicle that will allow us to ski, mountain bike, and off-road our way through the country. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we started this project, but it's turning into so much more than just an RV. So buckle up and follow along, because this is Ambition Strikes. A very dusty package showed up for me today. Um, something that is a concern we had, especially with winter camping, is moisture. And I guess a lot of people have issues with moisture accumulating under your mattress and mold growing. So I found a solution that I think is gonna work really well and it just got here and we're gonna check it out. you actually put it upside down so that the smooth felt side is facing up towards the mattress. I'm going to attempt to wrestle a king size mattress up there. So we have the mattress in, but we need to cut it to fit the space. The front of our nose has a curve to it, and then we also need to notch it out for these cabinets. So something that I've found that works really well for cutting foam is an electric turkey carver knife. So we're gonna get to work. Because we cut the mattress, the sheet doesn't fit perfectly now. So I found these sheet fasteners and I think what it's gonna allow us to do is clip the sheet so that it's tight and doesn't wanna bunch up. We are going to do our best to wrangle a king size mattress <laughs> back into the camper. Wish us luck. Someone's hard at work. <laughs> If you need me, I'll be in my giant bed. There's a reason that we have a king size bed. It's because Riley legitimately sleeps like that. So one of us might have broke a GoPro last week. I didn't break it, but I was the last one to use it, and then it was broken. FedEx man just delivered us an important piece to the puzzle that I think Courtney is going to be very excited about. And she already knows what's here. I got a text. She got a text. Holy cow. Did you think it was gonna be that small? Uh, no. I got a new camera. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to give you guys more stable videos and better audio. So you'll have to comment and let us know what you think. It's the DJI Pocket, it's tiny. And it has a gimbal so that when right mostly when Riley's filming, it's not all shaky now, hopefully. I'm learning how to upholster things. Can and you show us how you're learning? It's um <laughs> YouTube. It's frustrating and it's messy, but I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> Last night I spent four hours making a cover for this pillow and it didn't fit at all. So today I spent like an hour making a new one and we're gonna hope it fits. It's New Year's Day. Happy New Year's everyone. I was up late last night editing. I got our video up episode 13 at 1 a.m. So we woke up this morning to watch the premiere and the power's out, which means no coffee. But Riley is rather resourceful and he has a little plan. Mm -hmm. 
We are about two or three wires away from having the inverter working and making power, making coffee using our batteries. And we'll flip the breaker now. And the coffee maker's on. On this episode of I Have No Idea What I'm Doing, but YouTube helped me out, I'm gonna be working on cushions for our camper. I'm up at my mother-in-law's house. Riley's mom is an incredible quilter, seamstress, and she's letting me use her workshop, which I'm very excited about because it's uh, way better than mine, and it's clean, which is important when you're sewing. So we cut our butt and our back cushions and we're gonna go take them down into the camper and make sure that they fit and we're happy with them. Comfy. Read a book here, work. So we've cut all of our pieces for our first cushion. These are the top and the bottom. These are the sides, but this thicker piece is for the side that's going to have the zipper because we're gonna lose some width when we sew the zipper on. And then these skinny strips are gonna be used for our piping. And so I'm gonna take this cord, and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna sew it. And I have 323 inches of this to do. So see you in a bit. Cup of coffee later and I don't know how many hours and I have a full pile of piping. So now I can start piecing everything together. Now that I have my piping done, I'm gonna sew it to this piece and that'll be my first layer and then I'll come in and sew the side plates on. I'm gonna work on sewing a hidden zipper now. So I have my zipper. I have my zipper plaque that the zipper's gonna go in and Good news is I did it correctly and now I have a functioning zipper. Now that I have the piping sewed on, I'm gonna take my side plates, starting with my zipper one, and I'm going to sew them on. Don't be like me and sew the good side to the wrong side. I'm in the home stretch now and I'm sewing my side and bottom plates to my top plate. One cushion down, it's dark. The cushion fits, so that's awesome. And I'm gonna get started on the next one. What time is it? Midnight. <laughs> Cushion factory. What do they say about drinking wine while sewing? They say don't put the needle through your finger. <laughs> Power was out again this morning when we woke up, so I ran an extension cord from the truck into my mom's sewing studio where Courtney is working on building our dinette cushions. How's it going, Courtney? Off the grid sewing. Riley is rolling out some woven vinyl, also known by the brand name Chili Witch. This is leftover from a van build we did, and I'm really hoping it's enough to do the camper floor because it's super nice, totally waterproof, durable, and soft. If you've enjoyed our videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as we get closer and closer to hitting the road in our ultimate expedition vehicle.